Hello, video gamers. This is Video Game Blood Belt, and we are going to have some fun. And uh, we're gonna do Aquilia. Uh, hopefully, I'm not hurting your ears. Hold on, let me turn down my mic. Okay, anyway, uh, I am not gonna be playing normally on my Chris Legend Blade character. I'm gonna be playing on my level 90 because Aquilia came out recently and I thought it would be fun to play on him instead of my other one because of course I can't play on him, he's only level four. But level 90 right here. Uh, I'll skip until I go to the world. Okay, so it turns out uh, there isn't a world. You actually have to click on this quest. Also, I don't know what this is. The cracked bottle. Just glitch or something. I don't know. Alright, so let's Young click wizard, on him. Please set aside your studies for the moment and come to my office at your convenience. Alright, I think this is good. Alright. I'll read it, I guess. Alright, I have to come to his office. Woo! Quilia! Alright. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna pause until I... No, wait! I don't need to pause it. Pwah! Pwah! Alright, let's do this. You are by now, no doubt, familiar, familiar with, with the importable games? games? Yes. yes. No. no. <laughs> mm, clearly you are falling behind in your reading for the term. No, no matter, matter. I, I have, have a practical, practical solution, solution at hand. The immortal games I'll let him read are an it. open challenge hosted by the denizens of Aquila. One of my favorite empires to study. Unlike other provincial tournaments, this is more of a free-form approach. They are open to any students of magic, not just wizards. The games will push you to your limits, but are an excellent test of your determination, wits, and fortitude. The determination, man. Impress the immortals of Aqua, and who knows what secrets you might glean. Glean? Glean? What is? What is? Okay. Go and speak to the legionnaire Romulus on Cyclops Lane. He will tell you how to begin the competition. All right. I'm gonna pause until we get there. Also, it's only normal cyclone. I mean, it's not any different. It's just this one right here. No confusion. I mean, it's not really a guide right now, but I mean, kind of it is. It's for Aquilia. But, yeah. I guess I can unpause it, which I'm doing right now. Huh. <laughs> I get it. I get it. They're like trolls. Right? Right? Control people. Like, troll. Whatever. Okay, this is getting boring. Just like walking here. I'm doing just. You know? I'm not even gonna say it anymore. Pause! You might notice I have a Lord of the Falling Sky badge. You can get that by be beating uh, the Azteca, which is the last world they made so far. Many great eggs, wizard. If you are sound, then all is well. Correct. Professor Drake sent you? He has much favor with my people. Ah, he told you to ask about the immortal games? Yep. The immortals of Paparippus, the greatest heroes and champions of Aquila, host this Herculean competition. Mm hmm But I've been away so long, I've forgotten the way home. Seek Harold Argleston in the library. He'll know how to get you there. All right, Harold, 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 
Harold. Look, you are here to research for Professor Plowmere. She is very kind. But I am not born to smoke books. <laughs> you are working on a study for Professor Green. Most happens. I applaud your courage. What do you need to know? Oh. How to reach Aquila? Why, simply use Aqua? the carry to pay for That's the one which will pass with such a place. Hey, that's so funny. Christopher? CH? Eh? No? Okay. What? What? Hold on, what? Oh. You search under the CH section that Harold Argleston directed you to. There are a number of scrolls here. Chariot of Fire, Chariot of the Sea, Chariot of the Sun, Chariot of Thunder, Chariot of Ithacali. Okay, so it's down to Fire and Thunder, which is uh, Lightning and Fire. Oh, wait, here it is. Chariot of Aethon. It was just out of order. The instructions look simple enough. You should take it to Romulus. Who's Romulus? Oh, dang. I shouldn't have marked the clip. And we'll be right back after these commercials. Have you ever asked yourself what the thing you have seen that was beautiful? How long ago was it? Now you can! At the Wizard 101 Central. Go to paint your pet. Get a wizard hat. Have your own pet. Get shoes. Even make your own card deck. If you want, you can get your own house. Now, everything's beautiful. At the Wizard 101 Central. Wow, John, we screwed up. Okay. Anyway, Wizard 101 Central. Yay. You ever asked yourself, how cold am I? <laughs> now you can ask the thermometer. Just get one. Gosh. Do you think you have low mana? Well, now you have more. At the jewelry store. <laughs> just come on down and then just buy an amulet or something. Just buy it. No! Here at the shopping store. We have tons of boats, but there's only one left in sock. So hurry up down to the Wizard 101 Tower Central. You'll be happy you came. Did I? I pronounce. Freedom! Yeah. I don't know what that guy was thinking, but... Good idea! I thought we already had freedom. Yay! Do you get attacked by trolls? <laughs> yes. Well, you need the stalker hamper. The what? The stalker hamper. What the heck is that? It's a Cyclops hamper. Or not. Cy yeah, you could call it that, I guess. It's a hamper. And we stole from them, basically. And, uh, yeah, you use it. Oh, thank you, Cyclops hamper. Buy it now. Fake. Okay, so that was most of the weirdest commercials I've ever heard of, but, uh, I have to do with it. Librarian Argleston told you to use the Chariot of Aethon? Yeah. Of course! It will take you to the Garden of the Hesperides, and from there you may enter the Immortal Games. Anyone from the Spiral may compete to prove themselves in this magical challenge. Those who are victorious win honor and praise and glory. Those who fall short, well, they are welcome to try again. Once they have healed any bruises and broken bones, of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Use the scroll of Aethon to activate the chariot and travel to Aquila. Okay. Once you reach the Garden of Experiments, speak to the Satyr. Might end. 
Silenus tends the god <coughs> and is a philosopher and 